It's festive season here in India and Apple is keeping us busy in the holidays as well. We're not complaining as tech geeks because Apple Intelligence is here with a slew of hardware launches as well. These tech events just keep continuing. The iPad Mini was launched last week. This is your first look, I'll tell you more about it. There was also an iMac with M4, finally. A Mac Mini also with M4 and MacBook Pros with M4 chips. This was the M4 Apple Intelligence launch cycle. So many launches, but the MVP is Apple Intelligence. A transformational moment for the Cupertino giant and for the rest of us in the tech community. Apple Intelligence was initially showcased at WWDC, where we were there. And then again, we were there in Cupertino at Apple's iPhone launch event, where we saw the proof of the pudding, right? Now, Apple Intelligence had a lot of promise but it was uncommon, a little different for Apple to not ship it in September with their latest iPhone. So we waited and it's finally here on iOS 18.1. There's a bunch of new hardware, which we'll tell you about, but all of this hardware has been built keeping Apple intelligence in mind. Now, there's a bunch of questions you might have. How good is Apple intelligence? Which products come with it? Is it a hit or a miss? That might be a little early to say, but we're gonna tell you all about these particular developments Let's start off with how to get Apple Intelligence. For that, I need to take a seat. Let me have a seat, brace yourselves with me to understand what Apple Intelligence is all about. I have with me the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPad Mini, both built from the ground up, the new devices with Apple Intelligence. Now, how do you get this feature? Make sure that you're updated to the latest iOS 18.1, then you need to change your device region as well as language to US English because that's the only language that's currently supported on Apple Intelligence. There's a wait list, you need to join it and then give it some time until your device downloads Apple Intelligence. What's new? Is it really worth it? There's an improved Siri experience, a new look, these glowing edges on the screen when activated. Siri is more aware now, it's contextual, it's personal. It can answer questions even if you hesitate and switch things up in the middle of your query. There's also writing tools, proofreading, summarizing, and refining your text. Select the text, and then you can choose styles like friendly, professional, concise. If you want to send this to your boss or you want to send it to your partner, you can now decide that all within the text tools on your notes or in your messages with Apple Intelligence on iOS 18.1. There's an all new Photos app, not the look really that's changed, but we get new tools in Photos, smarter search capabilities, and a cleanup tool to remove unwanted elements from images. This works even better than Android. You can also create short movies from these photos with ease. There's notification summaries. Apple Intelligence can condense multiple notifications into a single summary. So it's easier for you to catch up on messages and alerts you may have missed. You can group what sort of social ones you want, which ones you want elaborated, all within this particular iOS. But there's a catch. It doesn't work on all Apple devices. You need supported devices, starting from the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. Even the standard iPhone 15 doesn't work. iPads with the M series chip or the brand new iPad mini, which only came out last week or you need the new iPhone 16. Now, this iPad mini is something I wanna talk about because this is built for Apple intelligence. The tiniest iPad from Apple has gotten a lot better. Let me give you my hot take. The new iPad mini, built for Apple intelligence, actually the most affordable way for you to access Apple intelligence if you're purchasing a new device. Like I said, built from the ground up for Apple intelligence, it's the tiniest iPad from Apple. The same form factor as the previous iPad mini from 2021, but it was an upgrade which was long overdue because it's been three years. Now it has an A17 Pro for Apple intelligence. Now, what about the other changes? There's more storage in the base version, 128 GB up from 64 GB, and it comes with support for the new Apple Pencil Pro. There's an 8.3 inch Retina display, which I think is fairly decent in terms of the price you are paying for this form factor. The bezels could have been lesser because now you have all these lovely foldables like the Pixel Fold and from Samsung where it is bezel-less and it's an 8-inch screen. I wish the bezels were a little slimmer over here, but otherwise it is amazing to hold. It's the sort of right form factor you want. And there's a difference from the foldables because if you're watching content on this, it's largely going to cover most of the screen as opposed to the boxy, squarey foldables. So that's where the iPad mini still 
has a very strong use case. Now inside, there's an A17 Pro chip, which is making all the magic happen. 5G support, of course, on cellular models. There's a Touch ID power button, which I think should be standard across all Apple devices. I know Face ID was introduced as a foolproof way for authentication, but having this Touch ID button with an almost immaculate fingerprint sensor should be an option that people have as well. Now, hot take our verdict on the iPad mini 2024. It starts at 49,900 rupees. If you absolutely want Apple intelligence features, then this is the most affordable, accessible way to experience it. Much cheaper than an iPhone as well. Now, if you're just using this to read books or watch content, and if you want to save some bucks, you could just buy last year's iPad mini, no Apple intelligence. And again, if you don't want that, you could just go for the base iPad, which is just 30,000 rupees money saved there. But that said, this is an incredibly powerful package with A17 Pro and those AI features. And the big things nowadays come in tiny packages with the iPad mini. Now, iPad mini aside, let's just talk about Apple intelligence features. With this update, there's no chat GPT integration yet, no image playground, no Genmoji, all the things that we've been waiting for. All of that will come later, maybe with iOS and iPadOS 18.2 in a few months from now. Now, iPad mini aside, Apple intelligence-wise, Apple announced a bunch of new hardware this week as well. Let's sum it all up for you if you're on the market for a new device. Mac minis are here. 5 inch by 5 inch form factor, smaller than the previous one, but made more powerful with the M4 and M4 Pro chips. Five USB-C ports, a headphone jack, HDMI, Ethernet ports, but Apple did remove the USB-A ports. Not a huge problem considering the plethora of USB-C inputs, but can be an issue for some people who use devices with those particular ports. It starts at 59,900 rupees, so under 60,000 rupees for a very powerful machine. Obviously, you got to link it to a display. But if you're like me and you want a nice desktop Apple experience, the iMacs are here as well. 16 gigs of RAM and M4 chip as standard. The colors are slightly refreshed. USB-C ports for the keyboard and the Magic Mouse, but the port is still at the bottom. It starts at 1,34,900 rupees. There's also MacBooks with M4 prowess. So if you're on the market for a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, that has also been launched. All in all, there's a whole mini tech event, a micro tech event by Apple this week with all of these announcements coming on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. There's so much more that we'll be covering on Tech Today. If you want the full review of the iPad mini, how does Apple intelligence work, all our tips and tricks, you can always log on to the Tech Today website. But your first look or first touch and feel of Apple intelligence, of course, is here on Tech Today.